What's up guys, welcome to AC Designs Garage and today I'm going to show you how to change out these little wimpy mirrors into some big manly tow mirrors. Alright, thanks for watching the video. Nah, just kidding. Let's get put these things on. Alright guys, here's the tools you're going to need to take your door panel off and reinstall it on your 2003 to 2007 Chevrolet Silverado. I got a 3H drive, use a long handle, they work nice. Ratchet, a 7mm socket. A 3x drive extension where you can get to the one that's above the door handle i always use a flat blade screwdriver for something and uh one of the door panel popping tools i'll i'll link all this stuff in the description and also the mirrors that i used i have an amazon affiliate link and it helps the channel out it don't cost you guys anything extra but this makes it easier for you to go be able to find all this stuff in one place so here we go and also you're going to need a 10 millimeter deep well socket for the the mirrors that has i think there's three 10 millimeter nuts on there to take the mirrors off all right first piece we're going to take off this little access panel that's where you access your three uh, nuts for your mirror i always use this tool here just because it, it kind of supports the edge if you just try to prize on these there's a clip right in here and down here somewhere right in here it uh helps to support it a little bit better so you don't break it Just work with it slow, don't get it in a, any hurry because you can, once you break these, they're broke. There's one. And you can see as I pull a little bit, it's kept, caught down there. there we go. All right, just pour your foam out you can use that later all right there's three fasteners that hold this door panel on except for the you know the main clips that hook it so i'm going to show you where those are located there's one behind here we have to pop this lock out it comes out pretty easy and also there's one up in here and then there's one more that's a little tougher to get to it's right there these are the seven millimeter and also you uh don't forget to pop this out. This just snaps in with clips. There's no screws or anything that holds it in. Pop that. You don't have to pull this off to get it off. All the wires are connected. I'll pull it off and show you. I have to actually pull this out of the door panel. It unscrews, and I'll show you how all the connectors go because you can't see it from. All right, guys, to snap this off to be able to access the screw on the back. This is the back side of the door, back here where your lock piece is. The way it's got like a, a tab that hooks under here, and then it's got two little prongs that just when you put it in it locks in so i always go to the back side here you may have to work it use your little panel tool or you can use a screwdriver you just got to be careful not to tear your door panel and you just get it under there it pops off all right guys here's this screw in here behind the lock mechanism that you need to take out most of the time you can take these screws out i haven't loosened these but most of the time they're not really that tight and you, when you put them back, make sure you don't really torque them in there because they're pretty easy to strip out. But here's the little screw that's in there. And these, there's three of these in this door panel. Now, I've seen like the 2000, this is a 2004. I've seen like the 2006s or so. They have uh, screws on two sides. I think they're a Torx bit on the front and the rear of the door panel. So mine only has three okay the next one is right here at your grab handle on your door handle that you need to get it's a little you have to catch it on kind of an angle because this plastic here seems to get in the way but you can just put a little pressure on your extension and stuff and like i said most of these you can take out without a ratchet now remember when you go back with these this one is a good bit longer But it's the same seven millimeter head now here's the last one that's on the bottom of the door panel right here it's also the seven millimeter all right now to pop out the trim ring around the door handle
All right, now that we got all our fasteners and stuff out and we, we pulled our trim ring and stuff off, it would have been nice if they had decided to put the plug in up here for your mirrors so you don't have to pull the door panel off because it'd just be three things. But, I mean, this door panel is pretty easy to take off considering a lot of them I've done. So basically what I like to do is I get a milk crate or something to take. That way you can drop the door panel down a little bit because you're still going to have your wires hooked up to it. And also remember there's a bulb in here with a wire, so don't forget it. It'd be really easy to pull it back and you could break that wire really easy. All right, so let's get to pulling this thing up. And basically the only thing you do is you grab right here on your basic grab handle, pick straight up and the thing comes off. It's better than having all those pop-in pins and stuff that you end up breaking every time you do it. But here we go. All right, here's how simple they made it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, light bulb piece out. That way my door panel can hang down and sit on top of the crate. All right, we've taken the one screw out that's up here. This act that would be here on the underside. You come back, there's one more that you have to take out. Let's see, find it right one. It's right here. It's another seven millimeter. You take it out, and then you'll take and you'll you'll pull this out, and clock it, and just kind of work it. Just be real patient with it so you don't break it. But it, it comes out pretty easy after you figure out how to do it. All right, here's the last screw, so we can take that switch panel out. Most of these are pretty easy come out because they're just threaded in real light plastic so you can usually just take them out by hand this thing should come out all right guys here we go we're gonna try to pull this switch panel off uh, the way you have to work this thing is you bring it out kind of like this motion it's kind of hooked under it it's like a padding built up here but you got to kind of bring it out and hook around it I'll show you how to do it. it's not too bad just take your time with it and use a tool to work it around stuff and we'll see how we can do As you pull up, you saw how it just wanted to slide out some. Just keep working it really slowly. And that's it. That way you can see when I hook this stuff up, which, which place it goes a lot easier. And some of these have a real funky plug in. Now that I got this switch panel out, it, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to see how to to plug everything in for your mirrors and stuff. And I'll show you how to take each one of these. This one here is the only one that's any different than most. Most of these you just push in, pull out. Now this one here, it has a little, I don't know if you can see that little, you press this little pin down here and then this whole piece just rocks back and it comes out. And then the rest of these, you just look for your little tab here and you just press and pull it out. But I get it set up on a tripod here where you can really see how to take it apart and then I'll show you how super easy these mirrors are. I mean, they just plug right in like they were from Chevrolet. And I got them off Amazon. I think they were $149. That, that's it. See, and it's all labeled black green blue black black and they all just super easy plug and play all right let's get this door panel out of the way forgot to unhook the speaker there's a wire back here too let me show you that 
just always make sure before you start yanking off these door panels that you check everything. I forgot to unhook the speaker, but we got it in time, so we good. All right, now we got the door panel off. I'll show you how to get pull this little vapor barrier thing back. Most time you got to retape it back, and you want to do this. This just helps with moisture control and stuff. And right here is the these hold the wires up to keep them getting caught up and stuff. This one's come loose for some reason, but the mirrors come with replacement ones and they're just wrapped around with electrical tape. You just cut it to get it loose. I'm going to do that one. Then you take these three nuts off the mirror and that little tiny mirror is going to be gone. These are the mirror of the box that came in. I guess it's called a Yita Motor. I don't know. Good as I can pronounce it, but these things are really nice. We'll get them unboxed here in a minute. Get ready to put them on. All right, let's get this thing unboxed. I tell you what, I'm just going to tear this box open instead of trying to slide the shelf out. It comes with a little package of the nuts and the zip ties and stuff. I use the ones that are factory on my truck because they have the bigger washers, but these are just fine. These are nice. These are heated and they extend out. They have the turn signal and stuff built in. But all in all, these are really heavy duty. It's got this one here that you can adjust like this. And this is power, like I said, it's power heated and has the cool little turn signals in it. But I think I'll be able to see my camper now instead of the little ones. And uh, here's your plug-ins. Pop right in back into the factory stuff. Works really good. All right, now time to take the mirror off. Uh, 10 millimeter, so what? There's three 10 millimeters that hold these on. Like I said, I like using these because they have that big washer and it just feel like it's got a better clamping pressure than the smaller ones, but either one you use works good. So we're just gonna take these three off and pull the mirror off and put the new one on. Let's get these mirrors off and get them new ones on. There's a little plastic barb that's inside here. Somewhere I can't see it, I can feel it. You may have to depress these to get the mirror out. It just kind of holds them in and steadies everything. So just feed your wires through and come around here and Get ready to put the tow mirrors on. All right, one thing you're going to need to do is when you pull your mirrors off, these things are pretty funky in here after years of not being clean. So I just, I just got some regular old water I just spray on here just to clean it up. All right, when you get ready to start uh, installing your new tow mirror, get these big old heavy things, they have a gasket that goes in between them. You're probably gonna have to cut a slit right here for your wires to come through. It has a little indentation, but just take your little razor blade and cut an X here. Then that just goes in between and gives you a, a good cushion in between this. All right, what you're gonna have, you have your uh, socket extension and one of the nuts for it. 
and have them close by where you can get to them because this thing's pretty heavy and have your window down and just go ahead and feed your gasket on here. Then feed your wires through the hole. Oh, those things are big. What I like to do is put the, the top nut on to hold it and then we'll get us a refocus here. That way it'll hold it good and secure. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the three nuts on. Like I said, I, I used the ones that was on my mirrors. I just like them because they got the bigger washer, but you can use whichever one. So we're going to get these put on and cinched up, and then we'll start the wiring process. to torque these really tight you just want to pull the mirror up good and snug Right now we're going to stuff our foam back in. And that'll be ready to go. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to wire it real quick on here because it's a lot easier for you to see. Because when I get the door panel hung up here, it's just really hard for me to get the camera position. But this is pretty easy. This, I mean, they basically go where they're going to go. You just put that in and rock that back so it locks. This one goes in there and locks. This goes to your speaker. And here's your new mirrors. You might have to pull this back a little bit. It's labeled here blue. You just put that in the blue. And you might, I might have to cut this heat shrink back a little bit to allow enough room. This one goes into black. I mean, it, it can only go one way because the, the release that they have, they won't let them go in. So that's basically it. We'll, put, we'll snap this and bolt this back into the door panel. And then I'll come up from the underside and wire it into it. And I'll show you doing that. I don't know how much you better see, but I want to show you now where you can see where all this goes. Like I said, that goes there. This goes to your speaker, and that's basically it. All right, since my little wire things here still seem to be in good shape and the other one comes with these, I'm just going to run one of these zip ties over it because there's no need in taking them out if they're in, still in good shape. This just keeps the wire from getting in the way of stuff, and we'll come back and cut these tag ends off later. I would just fish it back through this uh, moisture barrier, I guess that's what you call it. And I'll go get some clippers and clip these off and we're gonna run some, I just use regular masking tape, electrical tape or whatever you got. Just make sure you attach this back up and it'll be ready to go. All right guys, what we wanna do is uh, hang the door panel up just temporarily up here. We need, we're gonna need to feed our wires through. So we're just basically going to hang it up there temporarily and we'll be good to go. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and wire this and drop it down in. Then we'll have to pull the panel back off so we can uh, put the screws and attachment points. But I wanna go ahead and wire it now. I always start with the big one. And it's pretty cool because it just locks in and pulls itself down and once it clicks, that's in. And this one here, clicks in there. And see, I had to trim this back just a little so that this will spread apart further because right here it says the blue here. So, click blue. Click the black in, and this is your speaker wire. So we pull it all down. I'll go ahead and click the speaker wire and stuff in. So we should be good to go. But let's see. This thing goes in as easy. See, it has this hole here, and this one's already cracked. Someone cracked it. But the other one I have is, well, it's very broke. I might have to super glue that back in. As long as it'll hold it. Yeah, let me go get some CA glue and put on that. I don't know that that's going to really do anything because this clip goes in there. It just keeps it from moving. So these door panels have been taken off several times, I believe. All right, guys, we're going to fix that. We'll try to fix that little tab. Here's some CA glue. I'll link all the stuff in the description, but it's basically hot rod super glue. And this is an accelerator. When you spray this on, it instantly locks. But be very careful with this stuff. You can stick your fingers together, and I guess you just have to go to the hospital to get them cut apart so be careful with this stuff all i'm gonna do is dribble a little because this is like the really thin stuff dribble that on spray that on and it's dry i mean dry as it's gonna get cool little tip try this stuff but like i said again be very careful with it all right now i'm gonna attempt to put this thing together it's probably gonna break this but hey it's worth a shot trying to fix it so Speaker, all this is getting hooked up. Maybe roll the top in, turn around, and hey, I think it might have held. Let's hope it does. Cool. All right, now we're going to uh, put the screws and stuff back in the switch panel. They held it in. I don't know how good you can see it. It's just hard to get in here. I guess I should have put my GoPro in here maybe. Let's tighten that up snug by hand. And you have the other one. It comes up from the bottom side. I can't even see it to mess with it right now, to tell you the truth. All right, got that tight. That tight. All right, guys, make sure you just hook up the speaker next, which is just this little. Little two prong connector. Right here. And now it's time to hang the door panel. We'll just uh, station it up on here lightly for now. All right, before we get our door panel, I just got it laying up here. Just make sure that this this is where your screw goes that holds the panel. Just make sure you don't get in here. When you get it up here, just kind of make sure it hangs over that. Because that will cause you problems if you come back. All right, guys, here we go. I like to get the bottom. See if we can get it hooked in there. See, you can see how it fell in. Everything's good and tight against here. Now just roll your top over. Just come up just a little. Make sure your rod's out from behind this. Everything feels like it's, it's up against real well. So just grab here. And that panel's on. All the thing we gotta do now is pop our three screws in and this bad boy back on and we'll be in business. Alright, here we go. Run our screw in. Just remember, just run these in hand tight. There's that one. All right, guys, remember the one that goes on the arm pull on there is the longer one.
And here's the last one on the bottom side of the door panel. All right, guys, now have the time to put the little lock cover, if you want to call it. Uh, make sure your little red marks at the back so you know when it's locked and everything. And uh, it's got a little hook here. We'll put the hook in first and then just rock it in. Just make sure that you line your rod tip here up in this little groove. It just floats in there. So You might have to move this back and forth as you're going in. Just try to get it. This will pull it up just a little bit. And that's lined up now, and then it just snaps in good to go all right time to put the little uh handle trim ring on this makes it a little easier sometimes you want to pull it out you just put it in and try to rotate it around now it has a little ear up here that you want to just tuck in to the end then the rest of it just snaps in oh that's good now we'll put our corner trim piece on and that'll be it all right, now it's the home stretch. Just make sure you tuck that little piece down in here. It goes right in your little pocket up here. Line this up with your slot. That's her. Let's see what she looks like. All right, let's climb on up in here and see if my little turn signal things and all the adjustments work. That one works. Let's see if that one works. Yes, sir. We in business now. Let's see if my adjustment works here. Oh, yeah. Smooth. And those motors are quiet. Check it out. You're ready to go to the car shows. Pulling that trailer. Yeah, cool. Everything seems to work good, looks good. Check out how, how much them bad boys go out. I can take out mailboxes with them things. Cool. Right, guys hope y'all enjoyed the episode today we're putting the tow mares on the old tow pig here uh, make sure you follow along we do all kind of cool stuff car content working on your tow vehicles for your hot rods or hot rods paint whatever we try to do it all and if you like that stuff smash that subscribe button and come along for the journey thanks for all y'all support god bless we out <laughs>